I'm so happy to be here on the month of Women's Month and it's uh, very important that we're here just to acknowledge and recognize and celebrate and be inspired and motivated by the relevance at being at the uh, women's prison at Constitutional Health. I really do believe that dreams are motivators. They are gift givers of things that you truly and truly want and believe and aspire to be in life. I think as women, especially uh, women of color, we like and tend to, to set up roadblocks for ourselves and make the journey and it's all about the journey for me and make the journey so much more difficult and so much more painful than it needs to be. But at the same time, I'm a big believer on faith. So I always pray hard. I believe in the power of prayer and putting my, my dreams towards God, but also having a, a sure fact that I play a major part in fulfilling those dreams and making those dreams a reality. Oprah Winfrey once said that the least commonality between a mother and child is DNA. I believe I'm a spiritual mother to many. Um, I have the heart of loving children because I believe in children's purity and innocence and that they need to be protected. And I think as women, we are too scared to be judged or be criticized. So we open up avenues of creating chaos in our lives. And I think part of a sure sign of motherhood is creating boundaries, and that's just for our own protection, especially when it comes to family. So I think boundaries are of, of essence of being a great mother. Purpose, I think that, gosh, that's such a great question. I think we all have an innate need of a sense of belonging. You know what, as women, Yes, we strive for big things, and as black women, of course we want to be conquerors, we are conquerors. But I really believe that as much as passion is a word that is of relevance, um, don't mistake me when I get it wrong, passion is everything. But I think in this day and age, in the 21st century, in Joburg, right here, right now, it's such a word that is thrown around that I think it's lost its true intention. And for me, that is purpose. I think it all begins with purpose and then you can become passionate about what you're purposeful of. I think purpose is something that we all need to find an answer to because we kind of lose sight of why we're here. How are we gonna be remembered when we're not here anymore? the things that gets you out of bed or makes you strong in the times that you're feeling weak, in the times that you are questioning yourself or don't have enough relevance in your perception of why you're here. It's a thing that you always go back to that, my gosh, I can have a place in this universe. And I think as black women, we all have such big dreams because we're such powerful tools and we really want to create a legacy for the African girl child. But sometimes we can be our own biggest critics. You know, when you look yourself in the mirror, you're like, but you're like, so purpose is everything for me. I think when the aesthetics of life, the work, the money, the power, the fame, comes and goes, as we know. But purpose is something that nobody can ever take away from me. It's something that drives me when everything else is falling apart. And at the end of the day, that's what I can define and identify myself for being. And for me, my purpose, to be honest, that's a great question. And you have to keep on questioning that and reminding yourself of that. Um, it's something that I do every single day. And it doesn't have to be on screen or it doesn't have to be public. It's something that I stand for and that's something that I believe in. And that is... Wanting people to be their best. Wanting people, especially girl children, African girl children, to reach their full potential. Wanting the African girl child not to play it safe. Wanting the African girl child not to be conventional. And wanting the girl child to be revolutionary. I think, I hope.